Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a crock pot whole chicken. And as you can see, I've got a whole chicken here. We're, to, we're going to be uh, putting our onions just like this, but you can pull them apart as long as it makes a bed. Um, and we're going to put that in the bottom of the crock pot. And that's what I'm going to do now. My husband doesn't eat these, so I kind of leave them in big chunks so that he doesn't get a hold of any of them. But this is a very good way to um, add flavor. My new year has started out so good. I hope everybody had um, a happy new year. Okay. Now, my bird's over here having a fit. I'm not paying any attention to her. Okay. The uh, spice recipe, um, I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but I'm going to write, I'm going to help you figure out about how much to put on it. So I am going to be using measuring, measuring, uh, spoons to do this. Let me just get my measuring spoons out. And I'm going to need a small bowl. And don't be afraid to add all of this, like the black pepper and stuff like that. And if you don't care for pepper and like cayenne pepper and things like that, you don't have to use it. You can use pretty much anything you want to, as long as you've got onion powder, garlic powder, um, you can add just about anything else that you want to that you may like. You may like uh, garlic herb um, or lemon garlic. You can use that. Um, but this is, I was going to roast this, but I kind of don't want to have to do that because it's really a waste of power. And um, I would rather put it in my crock pot and just be done with it. And you are not going to add any wet ingredients to this and I know that sounds crazy but it comes out tasting like a rotisserie chicken so let's get started my black my black pepper let me just get something to open this up with I haven't I don't need to be getting cut Okay, <coughs> sorry about that. I've got a half, there's a half a teaspoon of black pepper. That makes a whole teaspoon of black pepper. And then I'm putting chipotle chili pepper in there. And it's going to be a teaspoon of that. Onion powder. Now with the onion powder, I'm going to be using um, a tablespoon. And 
and depending on what size bird that you have, um, you may need more. But I'm going to go with two tablespoons on this one. I know that looks like a lot. I know it sounds like a lot. But because this has no wet ingredients to it, and you want it to taste like it's been rotisseried, then, um, you know, you kind of have to add a little bit more spices to it. Now, I have some garlic pepper here, and it's just garlic and black pepper mixed together. And I'm adding two tablespoons of that. teaspoon of salt and like I said I know that kind of sounds like a lot but it's it's really not and there may be something that you like to substitute like salt substitutes um, and you can do that if you would prefer now, what we're going to do, we're just going to kind of mix this, the dry ingredients together. Just make sure they're all combined. Okay. And now that we have all of these, all of these in, um, ingredients in the bowl and they're combined together, we're going to set them to the side. Just one second. Let me get this out of this sink. going to do is I'm going to wash this chicken off with like just a really, really um, not cold, but just cool water. And I know a lot of you people are looking at me like I'm or thinking I'm crazy, but I'm really not. Um, I don't like thinking about the stuff that comes inside the package on the chicken. But it, I don't want to, I don't want to taste any of that either, or have the thoughts of tasting that. Okay, now don't forget the little packet that is inside the bird. We want to discard all of that. wash him up really, really good. Get all that nasty, ooey-gooey stuff off of him. gonna pat him dry. Just like you would a baby. Okay. 
okay. okay. There we go. Now let me get some oil. I use just regular cooking oil, but you can use olive oil. Um, you can also just, you can use butter if you want to. I'm not I don't particularly like to use butter too much, but I do occasionally. And I'm just gonna like drizzle it on him and make sure he gets well coated all along the legs, the wings, everywhere. Because you know as the chicken cooks, it's going to produce its own moisture. I'm wash my hands up before I stick it in the... To make it easier, I'm just going to bring my my pot, pot pan over. Now, make sure there's nothing else up in there. Now, I'm just going to take my rub and just rub him all over. And yes, this is messy. So, and then I take the pockets and I rub some up in there. I know this probably looks horrible sometimes, but you have to make sure that you get it coated all over. And if you have to go back and make a little bit more, you can. There's no wrong or right, right way to do it. Don't forget the, to put it some up and under the skin. Sometimes you have to get in there. I've always wanted a rotisserie, but I don't really have too much room to put one. And so I decided to start looking into recipes and seeing which one I like the best. And this one right here, it's not real spicy, so I decided to go with it. My husband used to love a lot of spices, but now he's got to where he can't eat them as much or eat as many of them. Okay. And we're just going to finish him off. Okay. And then with his legs up, we're just going to plop him right here on top of the onions in the crock pot bowl. Let me 
clean my little mess up here before it gets too bad. Now I'm going to put this, you can do it on high for four to five hours or four to six hours, but I put it on low for about six to eight since, you know, it's right at the middle of the day and my husband likes to eat around seven o'clock and because uh, a lot of times he doesn't get off of work, um, he doesn't get off of work until around 4.30 and he just wants to come home and relax. So I still have time to continue cooking this after he gets home. But if you want to do it on high, like I said, just once you see it start falling off the bone, you just, uh, you can turn it on hold for, you know, hold to warm. And uh, it'll stay warm and it's still really delicious, just like you would get at um, the grocery store, one of their rotisserie chickens. And like I said, you don't, ha you don't add anything else to this. You add nothing else to this, no other, um, sorry, I can't, my camera's not wanting to cooperate with me. You add nothing else to this except for what you, what I just told you right there. And then let it cook. And voila, my dinner is started. Now, like the sides that I use to go with this, I'll either do mashed potatoes and gravy and a side of slaw. Um, tonight I'm gonna be making, um, I will be making, like I said, my mashed potatoes. Um, and I won't be having, I won't be doing the gravy. And then I'm gonna have the coleslaw and then I'm gonna make a no yeast uh, dinner roll. And I'm, I love baking bread, too, but I don't like using the yeast. Like, this yeast right here is a really good kind of yeast. And it's rapid rise. But whenever I tried the other kind, it was like the store-bought kind, um, it, didn't, it didn't do good. So it, my bread did not rise enough for it to be light and fluffy. And so I'm gonna try this no bake, no, not no bake, but no yeast um, recipe. And um, I'll invite you back um, here in a little bit to show you the steps that I go through to do this, uh, this bread. Um, and how much of it I use. I may I may not end up doing a video, but I may just end up putting it, the uh, recipe online. Um, thank you um, for being with me while I fixed uh, my crock pot whole chicken. And like I said, it tastes like it's rotisserie. And if you love rotisserie chicken, you'll love this recipe. Thank you, and y'all have a wonderful and blessed day.